Assalamualaikum students. Uh, this should be the last video for the revision of uh, end of term finals. Uh, I'm going to do this chapter number three, coordinate geometry in pure mathematics. Uh, look at the question number one. He said that P is the point whose coordinates are minus five, four, and Q is the point whose coordinates are minus three, minus one. In coordinate geometry, there are few basic uh, terminologies and ideas. Number one, gradient. Second is length between the two points. And the third one is the midpoint of the uh, between the two points. So these three formulas you need to know uh, for uh, 9709, your mathematics uh, exam. Uh, first is gradient. Normally we represent gradient with small case letters and we write in the subscript PQ. Actually, it tells that we are finding the gradient of PQ. In general, um, in the numerator, you write difference of Y coordinates. And in the denominator, you write difference of X coordinates. Now, the difference of X coordinates is uh, you may pick this number, this y coordinate first, and then this one second. And you write minus one, minus four, and then use the same direction for the x coordinates difference. So minus three, minus, and minus five. So you have to write the minus sign in between as a formula. The difference of x coordinates. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. When you do this, you will get the answer minus <coughs> minus 5 over 2. That is the gradient of uh, the line joining the points P and Q. The B part is we want to find the length of PQ line. So PQ is equals to you put a big square root. Like in Pythagorean theorem, you write bracket open square and close. Yes. One bracket here with the square and then plus another bracket here with square. This is Pythagorean. And here we write difference of x coordinates, and here we write difference of y coordinates. So, what do we have here? Again, the same difference I will copy minus 3, minus minus 5, plus minus 1, minus 4, whole square. Now, in this case, you can write a difference of um, any, any direction because you, you saw that in this case I use this direction if a student wants to take uh, uh, minus 3 minus 4 and uh, for the x differences he wants to take minus 5 minus minus 1 yes because of the square you can take any direction but I think it's better to use the, uh, the gradient way uh, of taking the difference in the same direction um, after doing this process, I'm going to get uh, final answer square root of 29, which is uh, uh, approximated to three significant figure is 5.39, 5.39 to the three significant figures. You may uh, keep the answer in the exact form if it is required in the exam. Otherwise, you can write it to the three significant figures. The coordinates of the midpoint. So the you write here midpoint of PQ. Suppose that is M point. I you used to call it as the average of average of X coordinates and the average of Y coordinates. What is the meaning of average? Average means you need to add the x coordinates, any minus 5 plus add the x coordinates and then divided by 2. 
and then do the same thing for the y coordinates add them and divide it by 2 so it gives you the final answer minus 4 and minus 1.5 clear boys so this is the midpoint we found the distance we found the gradient so the basic skills of finding gradient length and midpoint are discussed in this question now we come to the detailed versions of the questions uh, of the concepts which we have learned m is the midpoint a point is given and b point is given and uh, c point has coordinates 1 4 first i need to find the midpoint m which is the M, M, M is the midpoint of A and B. So I want to find M point, which is midpoint of AB. So again, same idea, average of the X coordinates of AB and average of the Y coordinates of AB. So I'm going to write minus 5 plus 3. And here minus 2 plus minus 8 divided by 2. So the midpoint comes to me uh, in this case. Let me check what is the, is he asking midpoint? Yes, the midpoint. So minus 2 over 2 minus 10 over 2. And M comes to us negative 1 and negative 5. But still this is not the answer. The first question is find the gradient of MC. So gradient of MC is difference of Y coordinates divided by difference of X coordinate. Where is M point? This is the M point, which is the midpoint, and this is the C point. So do the difference of Y coordinates, minus 5, minus 4, minus 1, minus 1. So it gives us minus 9 over minus 2. So the gradient of MC is 9 over the B part is length of MC. I need to write a square root, Pythagorean. Within the square root, we have two bracket squares. Within them, there is a plus sign. And then I'm going to write here <clears throat> the difference of X coordinates. Can I copy it? Minus 1, minus 1. And here, minus 5, minus 4. This gives you minus 2 squared, which is 4, minus 9 whole squared, which is 81. That gives you square root of 85, or in other words, in three significant figures, you can say 9.22. Clear? So we found our answers. Question number 3, he said, a straight line joining the points of length 5. So examiner has given you the length. Any formula? AP is equals to a big square root, Pythagorean, difference of X coordinates. I'm going to write P minus 1 and 3 minus minus 1. He told us the length is equals to 5 and we want to find the unknown P. No worries. First of all, I don't want to keep the square root. I need to send the square root to the other side. The opposite of square root is square. So I will write here P minus 1 whole squared plus 3 minus minus 1 is 4. 4 squared is 16. And uh, 5 becomes 5 squared. Now P minus 1 whole squared, 16 goes to the other side. And this is 25. So 25 minus 16. So P minus 1 whole squared is equals to 9. When I send the square to the other side, so P minus 1 is equal to plus minus square root of 9. And then after that, P minus 1 is equal to plus minus 3. Now, plus minus 3, it tells you two equations. P minus 1 is equal to 3 or P minus 1 is equal to negative 3. Send the minus 1 to the other side. So, 3 plus 1 and minus 3, minus 1 goes to the other side plus 1. So, P is equals to 4 and P is equals to minus 2. Did he mention values of P? He requires from us values of P. Yes, two values we found, 4 and minus 2. Next question number is, question number 4 is, 
the gradient of the line joining the two points is 1. Now the guy has given us the gradient. So the, let us find the gradient of AB, which should be the difference of the y coordinate on the top and difference of x coordinates down. So I'm going to use this direction. So k minus 1 over 1 minus 5. He said this gradient is equals to 1. So k minus 1, 1 minus 5 is minus 4 is equal to 1 cross multiplication. So it turns into k minus 1 is equals to negative 4. Then send the minus 4 to the other side. So minus 4 plus 1, it gives you a final answer. k is equals to minus 3. Is it my final answer? No. I found the value of k, but he is demanding midpoint of AB. After finding the value of A, which is negative 3, I'm ready to find the midpoint of AB. The midpoint of AB is represented as M. Mm. All of you remember, we need to find the average of the x coordinates of A and B points. How to find the average? 1 plus 5 divided by 2 and k plus 1, any yani minus 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So the midpoint comes to me 3 and minus 1. That's the final answer. Question number 5. In question number 5, he says the line PQ has a gradient 1 over 3. Let me draw the diagram. It helps us to understand the situation. There is a line starting from P ending at Q. Its gradient is 1 over 3. The PQ uh, line is passing uh, is, is parallel. Is parallel to another line which is formed by joining the two points. So there is another line. I'm trying to draw a parallel line to this line. Yes. This line is parallel to another line which is joining two points. One point is 3k and this point is minus 65. When the two lines are parallel, their gradients must be the same. So if the gradient of PQ is 1 over 3, so the gradient of this new line, its gradient should also be 1 over 3. So let me try to write the gradient of the line. Uh, the That is... <clears throat> y2 minus y1, yani I will write k minus 5 over x2 minus x1. So I will write 3 minus minus 6. It has to be equals to 1 over 3 because both lines are parallel. If they are parallel, their gradients are same. So k minus 5 over 3 minus minus 6 is 9 is equals to 1 over 3. Do the cross multiplication or uh, simply send 9 to the other side. So k minus 5 is equal to 9 over 3. 3 cancel with 9 gives you 3. I'm going to get k minus 5 is equal to 3. Send minus 5 to the other side. So k is equal to 8. We found. Now we go to the question number 6. In question number 6, he says a line joining the points is perpendicular to BC, where C is the point 10, 1. Let me draw uh, yani the figure. This is A point. Coordinates are x3. There is another point, B, coordinates are 2, 3, and this is the line, okay, and it is perpendicular to BC. Oh, yes, it means this is C, and it is perpendicular to BC. This is BC. Perpendicularism tells us that of two lines, that their gradient must be negative reciprocal of each other or the product of their gradients must be equals to minus 1. Why not I can find the gradient of AB first. So 3 minus 3. This is 2 minus 3. So minus 3 minus 3 over 2 minus X. This is the gradient of AB. And... Uh, what is the gradient of CB or BC? 
the gradient of BC is 1 minus minus 3 and 10 minus 2. So BC is 4 over 8, BC is 1 over 2. Now, as you know, AB line is perpendicular to BC. So I can uh, make two conditions. I can find the gradient of AB. So the gradient of AB is opposite reciprocal of gradient of BC. So reciprocal mean 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. And opposite mean if this is a plus, then it is minus. So MAB is equal to negative 2. Now, I already found the gradient of AB, which is minus 6 over 2 minus X. Now It has to be minus 2. Now I'm going to multiply, cross multiply it with minus 2. So minus 6 is equals to minus 4 and plus 2X. Look, minus 2 multiply with 2 gives you minus 4 and minus 2 multiply with negative X will give you plus 2X. Now minus 6 plus 4 is equal to 2x, minus 2 is equal to 2x, and now 2, 2 cancels. So I'm going to get x is equal to negative 1. So this is the value of x I wanted to find. So keep it in your mind when the two lines are perpendicular. There are two conditions. If uh, this line and this line, this is AB and this is CD, when the two lines are perpendicular, then the gradient of AB, multiply, uh, uh, product of gradient of AB and pro, uh, uh, with the, pro, uh, the gradient of BC has to be minus 1. This is one case. Second case is MAB, it is negative reciprocal of the gradient of MBC and vice versa. Now we go to the question number 7. We want to find the equation of a line AB, which is passing through AB line. In order to find the equation of a line, I need to find the gradient first. So 7 minus 5 over 3 minus 1. So 2 over 2, which is 1. After finding the gradient, I need to write y is equals to mx plus c. Now I need to find the value of c. I need to plug uh, one of the point in the place of y and x. Uh, and also the gradient is found, so substitute it here. It will help us to get the value of C. So Y is uh, 5, M I found 1, X is 1 plus C. So 5 minus 1 is equal to C, C is equal to 4. So C is found, M is found. So the final equation of a line is Y is equal to 1X plus 4. To find the equation of a line, you need 1 m and c because generally equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c so you have to find gradient first then you need to find the y intercept where the line cuts the y axis same case is here when you try to find the equation of a line um, you will get your gradient of a b equals to negative 3 and your c will come to you 22 and y is equals to negative 3x plus 22 is the equation of this line right go to the question number eight in question number eight he said find the equation of a line uh, which is parallel to this line when the two lines are parallel i have already told you their gradients must be the same so y is equals to four minus three x can you check what is the coefficient of x the coefficient of x is negative three uh, so your gradient, uh, gradient of this line is negative 3 since they are parallel to each other. <clears throat> so it means the gradient of this line is also negative 3 and it is passing through 5, 7. This is more than enough to find the equation of a line if you know the gradient and a point on the line. So y is equals to mx plus c. I want to find c. For this, I have 
everything given. Let me substitute. Y coordinate is 7. M is negative 3. X is 5 plus C. So 7 is equals to minus 15 plus C. So it gives you C is equals to uh, 15 plus 7. And 7 plus 15. So it is 22. So I can easily find the equation of a line uh, which comes to me guys let's go back over there i wrote the gradient wrong just make the correction the gradient will come to you over there minus three and the y-intercept is minus five since i didn't solve it i just need i realized that the gradient and the y-intercept should be minus three and minus five and this is minus three x and finally minus five the equation that's fine so i <coughs> I'm writing the equation of a line y is equals to mx, m is given to us minus 3x, and this is plus 22. Question number 9, find the equation of a line passing through this point and perpendicular to this line. Wow. So, if I want to find the equation of this line and it is perpendicular to another line, whose equation is 6x plus 9y minus 7 is equal to 0. I want the gradient. For this, I, this equation must be reorganized and try to be transformed into y is equal to mx plus c form. For this reason, I'll try to isolate y it's by sending 6x, 6x and minus 7 on the other side. So it becomes minus 6x plus 7. So y is equal to minus 6 over 9x plus 7 over 9. So, y is equal to minus 2 over 3x plus 7 over 9. My gradient of this line is minus 2 over 3. So, this gradient is minus 2 over 3. Can I find the gradient of a perpendicular line? Can you take the opposite reciprocal of this line, which will become 3 over 2? Now, I have the gradient of a perpendicular line, which is 3 over 2, and uh, the point through which it is passing, it is minus 1 and 3. Y is equals to mx plus c. I need to get the value of c. So what is y given to me? 3, m is, uh, I found 3 over 2, and x is negative 1 plus c. So 3 is equal to negative 3 over 2 plus c. Send the minus 3 over 2 to the left-hand side. So it will give you 3 plus 3 over 2 is equal to c. When you do, uh, do the simplification, uh, with the calculator or you can do it manually 2 times 3 is 6 6 plus 3 is so 9 over 2 it is equals to c so final equation of a line is y equals m is uh, 3 over 2x plus 9 over 2 if you want to multiply 2 everywhere just to get rid of fractions so your equation will transform into 2y is equal to 2 cancel with 2 it is 3x and 2 cancel with 2 it becomes 9 you may write the equation like this but mostly we try we prefer to write the equation of a line in the form of y is equal to mx plus c now he gave you a point and b point he said find the equation of the perpendicular bisector very very important question perpendicular bisector has two characteristics number one uh, perpendicular bisector is passing through the midpoint so you need to find two things when i ask you perpendicular bisector you need to find the midpoint and you need to find the uh, gradient of a perpendicular line, okay? So, first we try to find midpoint of AB. So, 3 plus minus 5 over 2 and uh, minus 4 plus minus 10 over 2. So, midpoint comes to me minus 2 over 2 and minus 14 over 2. Here you go, m is equals to 1 and 7. Midpoint is 1 and 7. Now, I need to find the gradient. So, the gradient of AB minus 10 minus minus 4 over minus 5 minus 3. So, minus 6 over minus 8. So, it gives me uh, 3 over 4. So the gradient of the perpendicular will come to me minus 4 over 3. I'm ready to use the point, the midpoint, and the gradient because you remember he gave you AB point, 
perpendicular bisector is a line passing through the midpoint and perpendicular to the line AB. So y is equals to mx plus c, y is 7, perpendicular is minus 4 over 3, x coordinate is 1 plus c, I'm going to send it here, 7 plus 4 over 3 is equal to c, so c comes to you 25 over 3, I have, now I can write the equation of a line, y equals mx plus c, what is m I found? The perpendicular, which is minus 4 over 3, and the c is 25 over 3. So, y is, uh, m is minus 4 over 3x plus 25 over 3. Can you multiply every term with 3 to get rid of 3 in a fraction? Uh, 3y, 3, 3 cancel, minus 4 uh, 4x, 3, 3 cancel plus 25. Uh, so check that. Are we getting uh, uh, the right answer? Mm, the value of C, we have it here. Mm, I think it's fine. Uh, minus 4x goes there to become plus 4x plus 3y. Uh, I don't know, it's plus 25. Did I change the signs? Uh, the previous gradient was minus 4 over 3. Uh, let me check, let me check. Uh, I got this gradient minus 10 minus 4. It's minus 6 and minus 5 minus 3. Uh, minus 10 minus minus 4. So minus 6 minus 5 minus 3. Minus 5 minus 3. Minus 8 minus minus cancel. So 3 over 4. So minus 4 over 3. Yes, absolutely right. When the plus 25 comes here, so it becomes minus 25 is equals to zero. Uh, question number 11, he says uh, A, B, C, D points and the lines A, B and C, D meet at point P. Uh, I need to find uh, the equation of A, B. For this, we need to find the gradient of A, B. So minus 3 minus minus 2 over minus 1 minus 1. So minus 3 plus 2 over minus 2. So minus 1 over minus 2. So I'm going to get my gradient 1 over 2. Use one of the point. I will use A point to find the equation of AB. So Y is equals to MX plus, I'm going to write gradient of AB plus C. This will help us to find the value of C. Y is negative 2. M is 1 over 2. X is 1 plus C. So minus 2 minus half is equal to C. So minus 4 minus 5 over 2 is C. Equation of AB line, Y is equals to half X minus 5 over 2. If I want to write it in a beautiful form, I can uh, easily multiply the two here, but no need. So that's equation of AB. In the same way, guys, I'm, I'm going to try to find the equation of uh, CD. So, gradient of CD, y2 minus y1. So, 2 minus 14 over 2 minus minus 2 minus 12 over 4, which is minus 3. Now, y is equals to MCD x plus c. Use c point. I think d point I will choose because it is passing through both points. Any point can be chosen. So 2 minus 3, and this is 2, plus c. So 2 is equal to minus 8 plus c. This gives you c is equal to 10. So may I write the equation of cd now? So cd is y is equals to minus 3x plus 10. Now you found the equation of ab, equation of cd. We need to solve them simultaneously because the two lines are intersecting. Whenever we want to find a point of intersection, both equations must be solved simultaneously. Guys, uh, both are equals to y. Both are equals to y. Why not? We can put them equal to each other to get the x coordinate first. So half x minus 5 over 2 is equal to minus 3x plus 10. Let us try to get rid of this 2. So I'm going to multiply with 2. And then... This gives you 1, sorry, 
x minus 5 is equal to minus 6x plus uh, 12. Minus x comes here, so it's 7x. So 12 plus 5, so 7x is equal to 12 plus 5 is 17. And uh, then I hope there is no uh, editing mistake. Let me try to find it. The equation of AB was 2x uh, minus 5. And um, the value of uh, CD, I need to check it one more time. Did I do any mistake? Yes, I did a mistake. Minus 3 times 2 is minus 6. This is minus 6. And it has to be plus 8. Because the values are coming in fractions, it's better to recheck your answers. Very quickly, guys, I'm going to solve this equ equation again so half x minus 5 over 2 it is equals to minus 3x plus 8 multiply with 2 so it gives you x minus 5 minus 6x plus 16 now x plus 6x is equal to 16 plus 5 7x is equal to 21 so x is equals to 3 we found the x coordinate 3 substitute in any of the equations so y is equals to minus 3 x plus 8 so y will become equals to minus 1 so what is the point of intersection we found the point of intersection is 3 minus 1 that's the final answer question number 12 he says that um, the straight line cuts the x-axis at p and y-axis at q this is interesting whenever the line cuts x-axis it means we need to put y is equals to 0. And whenever the line cuts y-axis, you need to put x coordinate equals uh, x variable equal to 0. What was your original equation? Your line was 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. So can I substitute y 0? It give you 3x is equal to 6, so x is equals to 2 right so the coordinates of p will be 2 0 can i put x is equal to 0 when i put x is equal to 0 it gives you minus 2 y is equal to 6 it gives us y is equals to negative 3 hence q is 0 minus 3 after finding the coordinates of p and q then he said that the equation of the line PQ, uh, the equation of the line that is perpendicular to PQ. I need to find the gradient of PQ first. So minus 3 minus 0 over 0 minus 2. So it gives you minus 3 over minus 2, which is 3 over 2. So the gradient of the perpendicular should be minus 2 over 3. And passing through which point? 4, 3. So point is given and gradient is found. Can I find the equation of a line? y is equals to mx plus c, y is 3, m is minus 2 over 3, x plus, and in the place of x, I need to plug 4 plus c. So 3 plus 8 over 3 is equal to c, 9, 17 over 3 is equal to c. Y is equals to mx minus 2 over 3x plus 17 over 3. If you want to finish this uh, denominator 3, multiply 3 everywhere, it gives you 3y minus 2x plus 17 or 2x plus 3y is equal to 17. Both answers are okay. Now we come to the circles. Hmm. For circles, uh, when he provides you the center, when he provides you the center and the radius. You can easily write the standard form of the equation of a circle. Let me explain it to you. Now, this is a circle and this is the center of the circle. The coordinates are given minus 5, 7 and the radius of the circle is 6. I want to write the equation of a circle. So the equation of a circle uh, must have x and y like in the equation of a line you saw x and y but how it looks like I always used to call my students don't forget Pythagorean bracket open squared plus bracket open squared is equals to bracket open squared 
you remember when we did the Pythagorean, we were writing here opposite squared, adjacent squared, and hypotenuse squared. Here, your opposite will be x always, x minus, yani whatever the coordinate, the center you see minus 5, but when you write it over here, you need to write with the opposite sign. So x minus 5, so Hena, I will write x plus 5. Got it? Can you guess what I'm going to write in the in the place of adjacent here? Um, I have here 7. So what is the opposite of 7? Negative 7. I'm going to write not x minus 7. x is already written here. So I'm going to write y minus 7. Done. Everything is already done, but what is hypotenuse? Here, hypotenuse is is basically uh, our um, our radius. So the six will come here in the place of hypotenuse. So your six squared. Now, can you see that this is the equation of a circle? Now, equation, and this is called standard form of the equation of a circle. Standard form of circle. If I expand the brackets, how it will look like? I will get x squared term, I will get y squared term, and I will get something here along with x, I will get something here along with y, and I will get something here. No need to show expansion. The rule which I'm going to teach you, that will open this mystery. You know, the coefficient of x will be what the coefficient of y will be what and this is called c which is what guys what are the coordinates of the center the coordinates of the center minus 5 you just need to multiply with negative 2 and multiply with this one with negative 2 so minus 5 times minus 2 is 10 so this is 10 you understand the center was negative 5 the x coordinate of the center was negative 5. You need to times with negative 2. This is the rule. You need to multiply with that. So what the answer comes was 10x. Now what was the y coordinate for the center? 7. You need to also multiply this with negative 2. This is the rule. So 7 times minus 2 will give you negative 14. So that negative 14, I'm going to write it here. Now how to get the c? The formula for c is pretty simple. That is equals to the center the first x coordinate of the center is negative 5, put a square on it, plus the y coordinates of the center, that is 7, put a square on it, minus radius, minus radius square. Is it clear? Minus radius square, which was written here. So a square plus b square minus radius squared. So what is this answer coming to us? 25, this is 49, and this is minus 36. Let us use the calculator. I'm going to write 25 plus 49 minus 36, and it gives us 38. So C is equals to 38. We found it here. Now, if in the exam, the examiner asks you, um, standard form only, you can write the standard form, but this is expanded version of the standard form. This is expanded. Look, the next question, he has given you the expanded form. Now, if the expanded form is given to you, I'm going to rewrite it, x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 12y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now we do the opposite thing to find the center uh, to get this x coordinate we we multiplied the x coordinate with minus two now to get the center we divide it's opposite divided by minus two the y coordinate should also be divided by minus two so what is my center so minus 10 divided by minus two is five 12 divided by minus 2 is negative 6. So we got the center. Now this is our center. And the guy has provided you C. C is 12. C is 12. What I was writing, 12 is equals to 5 squared plus minus 6 squared 
minus radius squared. I don't know what is my radius. I need to find it. So 12 is equal to 25 plus 36 minus radius squared. I send the radius squared to this side. So 25 plus 36 minus 12. So radius squared is equals to 49 and that radius is equal to 7. So radius is 7. So what is the formula? Just keep it in your mind. C is equals to A squared plus B squared minus R squared. A is the X coordinate of the center. B is the X coordinate, a Y coordinate of the center. So center is AB. And R is the radius. If you want to find the radius formula from there, make R as a subject. So R radius is equal to A squared plus B squared minus C. So directly you can write the X coordinate of the center squared plus Y coordinate of the center squared minus the C over there in the expanded version. You write, take the square root, will give you the radius directly. Question number 15. He tells you that the equation, find the equation of a circle whose center is given and it is passing through this point. Oh, the radius is not given. So if the center is given 4, negative 3 and the circumference of a circle is passing through minus 2, 5, why not we can find the distance? The, the radius is the distance. So equation of a circle is related with coordinate geometry. So radius represents the length of between the two points. What was that formula? Pythagorean square plus bracket square. So take the difference. So 4 minus minus 2 and minus 3 minus 5. So radius is equal to uh, 6 squared plus 8 squared. So radius is equal to 10. I found the radius. Now I want to find the equation of a circle. So there are two versions. One is called standard version. Standard version is very easy. I just need to change the signs of the x coordinate and the y coordinate within the two brackets. You remember bracket open square plus bracket open close squared is equal to bracket open close square. Here what I will write, I will write x minus the difference, yeah, uh, x minus the change, change the sign of the x coordinate. It's plus 4. I'm going to write here minus 4. What I'm going to write it here. I'll write y minus, uh, sorry, check that. What is the coordinate here? Minus 3. What is the opposite of minus 3? Plus 3. I'm going to write plus 3. Did I find the radius, guys? 10. So the radius, this is 10. I'm going to insert this radius over here. So this is the expanded, uh, the standard version. But if you want to write the, um, uh, the expanded version, so that is x squared plus y squared always, plus you need to leave a bracket uh, space here along with x. You need to leave a space here along uh, the coefficient and then y plus c is equal to 0. Now what is this? You need to multiply the center with negative 2. So 4 times minus 2 is negative 8. You need to multiply the y coordinate with negative 2. It will give you 6. Now after finding this, so c is equal to what? c is equal to a big, uh, sorry, not square root center squares which is 16 plus minus 3 whole squared which is 9 minus radius squared which is 10 squared that is 100 so c is equal to 16 plus 9 25 minus 100 so c is equal to minus 75 so you get minus 75 but if the examiner asks you to get the expanded version <coughs> now question number 16 he says that um, there are two equations. One is the line. The second one is a curve. We want to solve them uh, uh, simultaneously and uh, give the point of intersections because uh, this is a parabola, guys, and this is a line. And uh, he said that they are intersecting at two distinct points. There are three possibilities. Uh, sometimes the line and a tangent, they are touching each other, and this is a tangent. And sometimes the line has no relationship. They are not cutting each other. In this case, we always put the discriminant of a quadratic equation, b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. Here we put b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. And here we put b squared minus 4ac less than 0. But in this particular case, our gradient has to be greater than 0 because the graph, uh, the curve and the line, they are cutting at two points. So can I put them equals to each other?
make y as a subject and now put them equal to each other <coughs> so x squared plus 2x plus k plus 2 is equal to 0 now what is my coefficient of x squared which is a so my a is 1 what is my coefficient of x which is b 2 and the constant is k plus 2 so c is k plus 2 now he says uh, discriminant has to be greater than 0 since they are intersecting at two, uh, two distinct points so b squared minus 4 is e greater than 0 so 2 squared minus 4 a c k plus 2 greater than 0 4 minus 4 k minus 8 greater than 0 send the minus 4 k to the other side so minus 4 k so minus 1 so k is less than minus 1 let me verify it yes the k is less than minus 1 Now, question number 17, you can see he gave you the line and the curve. He said a line is tangent to the curve. A line is tangent to the curve mean you have to put b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. So the equation of a line is this. Equation of a curve is this. Both are equals to y. Can we put them equal to each other and try to construct a quadratic equation? So we put them equal to each other. And we got this type of an equation so try to um, reorganize this equation in the form of a quadratic so kx squared plus 2kx came on the left hand side becomes minus 2kx plus 3 is already there and plus 7 changed his position from right to the left minus 7 is equal to 0 so kx squared minus 2kx minus 4 is equal to 0 so you can notice your a is k your b is minus 2k and your c is negative 4 uh, and he said that tangent tangent tells you b squared minus 4ac should be equal to 0 b is minus 2k whole squared minus 4 a is k and c is negative 4 and this will give you 4k squared and this is plus 16k uh, now i want to solve this equation take the 4k common so k plus 4 is equal to 0 it tells you either 4k equals to 0 4k equals to 0 or k plus 4 equal to 0 so k becomes 0 from here and here from k is equal to minus 4 but you remember that guys k cannot be 0 otherwise the quadratic function will be finished so just ignore this one and k, k is equal to minus 4 moreover examiner said find not the values of k he said value of k so the value of k should be minus 4. question number 19 he says um, find the set of values of k for which this line intersects at two points so it again uh, guys uh, uh, we got um, the discriminant p squared minus 4 is greater than zero case so we need to put them equal to each other x squared should be equals to uh, kx minus 4 so x squared minus kx plus 4 is equal to 0. Your a is 1. Your p is minus k and your c is 4. b squared minus 4 is c greater than 0. Minus k whole squared minus 4 is c greater than, greater than just greater than 0. And now this is k squared minus 16 greater than 0. And as you know that k squared minus 16, we can go to the calculator and we can write it as k squared plus 0k minus 16 greater than 0. So it will give you the two critical values, k and minus 4. Greater than means like we are going to get uh, uh, either k is less than negative 4 or k is greater than 4. Okay. So how to solve the quadratic inequalities? I just wrote the answer directly. Now, equation of a circle is this one. We need to find the center and the radius. So x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 6y minus 20 is equal to 0. In order to find the center, uh, 
x coordinates and y coordinates we can focus on the coefficients of x and y the rule tells us the rule is the the coefficient of x squared has to be divided by minus 2 and the coefficient of y has to be divided by minus 2 when we do this it will give us the centers x coordinate and y coordinate so minus 8 divided by minus 2 minus 8 divided by minus 2 will give you 4 I'm going to write here 4 and minus 6 divided by minus 2 that gives you 3 so the center is 4 and 3 this thing is called c and the formula for c is it is equal to the x coordinate of the center this is a and this is b so a squared plus b squared minus the radius squared i want to find the radius of the circle so c is given to me minus 20 and a is given to me 4 squared and b is given to me 3 squared and minus radius squared i may use equation solver uh, to find the radius so minus 20 i press the equal sign 4 squared plus 3 squared minus x squared and shift solve so i got my answer 6.7 radius is 6.71 that is the radius of a circle and this is your answer answer so answer squared let me check what is this 45 so this is equals to uh, uh, square root of 45 or any you can write here because 6.71 i took a square it gave me a whole number answer which is 45 so square root of 45 should be equal to 6.71 maybe the examiner ask you to write the exact form so whatever the answer you got in the decimal as an answer take a square it will give you 45 so it is square root of 45 the radius now he says a circle 10 0 lies on uh, there is a point there is a point 10 0 um, which is lying on the circumference of a circle and uh, he gave you the we already found the center 4 3 uh, he said uh, find the tangent wow this is tangent and go back uh, to the IGCSE knowledge you remember that the radius and tangent they are always perpendicular to each other so I need to get the uh, gradient of the radial segment so 0 minus 3 over 10 minus 4 so minus 3 over 6 it is giving you minus 1 over 2 so can I find the gradient of the tangent which is perpendicular to it so the negative reciprocal of minus 1 over 2 is just 2 so y is equals to mx plus c it is passing through this point so in the place of y i put 0 m is 2 and x is 10 plus c so c is equal to minus 20 now the equation of the tangent is y is equals to uh, 2x minus 20 is the equation of the tangent line to the circle question number 20 he gave you uh, again um, the expanded version of the uh, equation of a circle so x squared plus y squared i am rewriting it plus 2y plus 13 all of you remember whenever the expanded version is given to me all ev any every time my focus goes to the coefficient of x and y because they will provide me the x coordinate and the y coordinates of the center so the x coordinate should be divided by minus 2 and the y coordinate the, the, the coefficient of y should be divided by minus 2 so minus 10 divided by minus 2 will give me what 5 and 2 divided by minus 2 will give me minus 1 so my center is 5 minus 1 and now this is c the formula for c is a squared plus b squared minus radius squared this is a and this is b c is given to me 13 a is 5 squared and this is minus 1 squared minus r squared may i use my equation solver 13 equals 5 squared plus bracket open negative 1 bracket close whole squared minus radius squared yani x squared and then shift solve and we got the answer 3.6 3.61 so radius is equal to 3.61 what i did in last question uh just press ac because press ac my answer take the square of that it give me 13 so this is equal to square root of 13 done um
Now we uh, want to, what he said PQ is a diameter of a circle and find the equation of the line passing through P and Q. Any circle is given. This is a P point whose coordinates are uh, 2, 1. I already found the center. The center is 5 minus 1. Examiner could have asked me to find the coordinates of Q, but uh, he's not interested. He said, like, uh, can you please find the equation of this line? The, the, this is pretty simple. I can easily find the gradient of uh, uh, these two points. So the gradient is minus uh, 1 minus 1 over uh, 5 minus 2. So it is minus 2 over 3. So the gradient is found. Now I want to find the equation of the line passing through P and Q. Y is equals to mx plus c. So I can use any of the points. So suppose I'm using 2, 1. So 1 is equals to minus 2 over 3. X is 1. Uh, X is 2, sorry. X is 2 and plus c. So 1 plus 4 over 3 is equal to c. It gives me c is equals to 7 over 3. So equation of the line pq is y is equals to mx m is i found minus 2 over 3 x plus 7 over 3 if you want to send the 3 to the other side multiply every term with 3 so 3y is equal to minus 2x plus 7 or 2x plus 3y is equal to 7 can also be written as the equation of a line now we started with the binomial expansion i think in my next video i will share with you the binomial expansion thank you guys Salam.